Well, happy gray carders. We're going to work with some gray cards and establish how to set the values for the mid-tone gray of the gray card. So I've got my image open in Bridge. I've got it selected in Bridge. Now I'm going to open it in Photoshop. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just click on it and that'll certainly open it up. Come on, there we go. You can click on it, that'll open it up. Now it's opened up inside of Photoshop. Let me move it over so it fills the window. So there's Dan. Now we don't really want to see Dan's face for this. We want to see the gray card. That's the most important thing. Actually, well, before we before we do that, let's resize Dan to the size that we need. We only need a five by seven for this particular assignment. So let's crop Dan to five by seven. Now, by default, if your tools don't show up where you can pick the five by seven at three hundred dots per inch, if they don't show up, you can go to the view. Yeah, sorry, you can go to the windows and show your tools there and the options. Or you can actually click on, it's out of my window now, there's the Essentials tabs at the top. You can click on those. Click on Design and that should call up your tools. Now, what we're going to do is select this area with the 5x7 tool. And we're going to crop just above Dan's head and below the gray card. That's all we're after. Make sure the head and the gray card are in. That's all we want. Don't want anything else around there. So there's Dan looking good at the 5 by 7 Let's take him up. Now, we don't want to see his face. We just want to see the gray card. So let's just bring the gray card in the middle, and we'll take a look at it. Now, what color is the gray card? It's gray. That means it's not black. It's not white. It's halfway between black and white. Here's white at the top. Here's black at the bottom. It's actually halfway, and the scales could be relating somewhere around this tone here. Now, what value is this? If I put my info tool in here, now the info tool is this little eyedropper over at the side, little eyedropper icon in the toolbar. If I put my info picker in there and see the info, and I've dragged the box over the info box. Let me bring it right over so you can see it right next to it. If I grab the info box and bring it into the frame so you can see it. You can see those colors now are the red, green, blue, RGB in the first numbers you see in there. If I move it, if I move the cursor, the numbers will change. It's 139142158. Heavy in blue and a little bit more green than it is red. If all those numbers were even, we would have a gray gray card. Right now we have a slightly blue and a slight green gray card, if that makes sense. So, how do we make those values truly neutral? Well, you could play doing color corrections and things like that. Let me show you a technique that's fairly quick and works quite well. You can come into the Adjustments, Levels. Command L will do this. This is going to call up the Levels box. This histogram that you've seen in the back of your camera and in Photoshop represents the values of this image. So, just looking at it, you can see that we got a little gap here at the bottom in the black area, and it drops down in the white area. This image doesn't look like it's a badly exposed image at all. It looks quite well exposed. There's a way we can tell if our images are properly exposed. I'm going to get rid of the histogram, make it go away. I'm going to pick just my selection tool. I'm going to pick an area of the gray card, just so I have the dancing ants around an area of the gray card only. I'm going to call up those levels again, Command L, and look, you see how the actual middle, this is halfway between black and halfway between white, right here in the middle. The middle of this, let me pull, push this down so you can see it. If I can, well, there we go. Um, you can see that our exposure isn't bad. That gray is just about spiking in the middle. There's a couple values in there of gray. But you'll notice it's not too bad. If we were to darken it down a little bit, that's probably about the mid-tone gray we really want right there. Let me get rid of that. So, I'm going to get rid of that selection also. Let's call up levels. Command L. Inside of levels, you see now our, we have two values because we've made a change there actually earlier on, but you'll see two values now. Always look at this second right hand set of numbers now. That's the adjusted numbers through levels. Now what we can do is we can play with this value here and slide it up and down and this will change the overall look of my image. Make it lighter or darker. You can this is the midtones. We're sliding the midtones now. You can see we can bring it down 115, 117, 135. It's getting closer to sort of midtone gray, but still not midtone gray. We can grab this slider at the very bottom, and this is the shadow slider, and that affects mainly the shadows. And then the highlight slider affects mainly the highlights. You can see every time you move that, you affect the value. Oh, oh, I made a 
Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. There we go. I made a mistake there. I clicked where I shouldn't have clicked. So let's bring it back in. How do we make this gray card gray? Let me show you the easy way. Come over to this tool over here. It's called the in the uh, eyedropper tool. You see one's a dark one, one's a mid gray, and one is a white one. If, if you hover and see the thing, it says sample in image to set gray point. Perfect. We have a gray card. We're going to click on that and set that gray point. Watch what happens now when I click once. Look at those values. I can't move the mouse now, but look at the values. The second set of values up in the info box. It was 139. It's now 146 for red. The green was 141. It's now 146. And the blue was 157. It's now 146. We physically changed this image to be truly neutral gray. Now, if it's halfway between black and halfway between white, it would actually have a value of about 128 in this RGB numbering system. You notice it's high. It's higher than 128. We need to bring that down to 128. So I'm just going to grab the mid-tone slider by selecting the box number 1 here so it's highlighted. Bring my cursor back. and I'm going to use my keyboard keys, the arrow keys. I'm going to click and drag. I'm not going to click and drag. I'm going to click the arrow keys until I drop those values down to about 128 or so. There, that's pretty close there. 127, 120, 130, that's close enough in horseshoes. What we have now is a gray card that's it's become a little darker. Now we should have a perfectly exposed gray card. Let me make another selection on there and see how it looks now. I'm going to call up the levels again, Command L. Look at that, it's right smack in the middle. It's perfect exposure. We're all set. Dan should look good in this gray card. Let's see what Dan has. Yeah, skin doesn't look too bad. Now we have the proper gray card. That's half the assignment done right there doing your gray card. Let me take it down so you can see it. Doing your gray card in the sun. You do the same thing for the shade gray card, which is the image taken in the shade. And then once you put those two pictures together in a picture package, you've got your assignment done. That's just how easy it is to do gray card or any other color balancing, to tell you the truth.